This is probably one of the most major upgrades to my AI workflow in the last 12 months. Anthropic recently launched Claude 4 with two incredible models. You have Opus 4 and Sonnet 4. And honestly, they're changing the game in how I approach my work and research. And it's actually the first AI that can do work independently and really take on complex tasks by itself. Represent such a major leap when it comes to AI and what AI can actually do. And I am absolutely absolutely mind blown. As you guys know, I work with and play around with a lot of AI tools and I found these three functions that Claude does really well and why I prefer Claude over any other AI tool. And before we continue, I'm really excited to share that this video is sponsored by Anthropic. But of course, all my opinions are my own and you'll really see in this video why I've switched over to Claude and how it's genuinely changed the way I work. So the first is data analysis and data visualization. For the longest time, I've said that AI tools are just not great when it comes to data. And this is one of the most time consuming tasks, dealing with data, analyzing, cleaning it up, creating visualizations. But with Claude, you can really easily upload your files directly and then create fully functional and interactive tools rather than just static uh, graphs and images. And this is so unique and it really removes and reduces the friction for me moving to the next part of my project. So let me show you how. I have this sleep study that I want to analyze. It's just some raw data. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag and drop it into the chat in Claude. And this uploads the, the data. And then I'm going to start to ask some questions questions to get a little bit of analysis going. Key tip here is to use the word interactive because what that's going to do is then going to pull up the artifacts side panel, which is where you can edit and see visualizations and things that you've created at the same time as you discussing and talking on Claude on the left hand side. I said, I want three key results. Give me a clear interpretation and let any limitations that are obvious from the data set. But what I love is that it's giving me clear explanations as to what's happening as it goes along. So it's not just giving me a final answer and then just saying this is what the visualization is and this is the interpretation. I'm actually understanding that step one is examining the data set, step two is cleaning it, step three is fixing it. And this is where the artifacts has now come up. So this is this right hand side panel as I mentioned earlier and here you'll be able to visualize anything that you create or anything where you can start to edit and make it a bit more personable. And there you have it. This is the interactive analysis of reaction time and how it changes uh, with lack of sleep. This is super cool. There is so much detail here and you can really see how we can play around. I love how interactive this panel is so I can take away some data points. I can add some data points depending on what I want to see and what I want to kind of like understand. And then I have a quick interpretation at the bottom as well. And I can do the same thing for the second result and also the same thing for the third result. If you're an academic or researcher, please leave a comment down below and let me know how long this would have taken you to do on average. Now let's go into a little bit more detail. One of the biggest issues issues that I had when I was at university and doing my PhD is knowing what stats to use. Okay, so Claude has said that the most valuable analysis that I should use is a mixed effects linear model. And here's why, so it's told me like, based on my data, what it thinks, and then it's actually analyzed it and given me the key results based on the analysis that I thought was most relevant. And then it said for my literature review, so you can see that it has remembered, and this is what I mean by it. Claude is amazing for having kind of deep level, complex, independent thinking and a continuation of thought. So it has remembered that in the beginning, I said that I'm going to be using this for my literature review. So it said, you first want to report this model, then you want to include the sizes of the effects, then report both the fixed and random effects, and then you want to compare with other studies. And this is genuinely, as an examiner myself, this is the perfect way to write a discussion of results. <laughs> so I'm kind of a little bit shocked, but also not really. There's so much more that you can do with Claude with your data. So like analyzing patterns, trends, visualizations, doing statistical analysis, interpretations, even you can even compare it with other literature. I've just uploaded a research paper to this chat that is related to this topic. And I want to ask it to compare my results to this research paper. I said, can you compare and discuss my results to this research paper? Is there something surprising or interesting that I should no. I really like this bottom line that Claude has provided me with this comparison and it's essentially saying that my data provides the quantitative backbone for the assertions that were given in that research paper that's important to public health and safety. And this just shows you how well Claude can deal with data and analysis 
and even visualization. Okay, picture this. You have a deadline to write a literature review in one week, but you still have to find research papers. You still have to analyze them. You still have to understand and interpret the information. Then you need to write the outline. Then you need to actually write the literature review yourself. Then you need to add some critical discussion and edit. Now, we're looking at at least a month of work here, not a week. So the second way that I use Claude is for deep research and information synthesis. Claude can significantly accelerate your research and help you do things that will take months and weeks in just a couple of hours. So for this, I'm going to be using the projects tool that Claude offers. So what you're able to do here is provide one or two bits of information that is essentially your context. So here I'm going to add this sleep study. You can even add more information. So here I can go into a bit more detail to set some instructions for things that I might like in terms of the thought process, in terms of the way that the reasoning and the complex problem is broken down. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So I said, can you find five other powerful research papers that are complementary and important for me to read to write a strong review. But remember that we are in this project, so it's basing it off of the initial paper that I uploaded, and that is the context. And any conversation that I have in this project will be based on the context that I have provided it, which is going to be that document. Claude can really handle longer conversations without losing track, and is able to collaborate with me to provide me with information I've asked it. But not only has it just listed the five papers to me it's also said why this is essential <laughs> guys I wish I was a PhD student in 2025 one thing about Claude is that it does not hallucinate and it will always back up whatever it has provided you with true citations so I can now click onto here and this will give me the exact link to access the paper and unlike other AI tools no names I'm confident that the research that's provided to me here on Claude is, is reliable and I can actually use it in any academic uh, research or writing that I, be, I, I, I want to. For short on time, so I just want to create a table for these five research papers that has the name, the title, key results, methods, key takeaways. So I'm going to do this now with uh, Claude. Remember to use the word interactive table because this will then bring artifacts up and it'll be able to provide you with a, a table that you can really play around with and be more interactive with. This would have taken me weeks to do. So let's take a look at this. We have an interactive table that has all the five research papers that were pulled out in a table that has all the information and main takeaways. So study details, the methods and design, key results, main takeaway, limitations, and also future research. And I have that for every single research paper. Another thing that I can do is I can change this visual design very easily. So I can say, actually get rid of the colors, or I can say, um, don't filter for sample size, or I can say, add a certain filter, etc. So I can really quickly change this format. And there, there is no other tool. There is genuinely no other AI tool that will do this for you using the information that I provided it. Now I want an outline for my literature review that I'll be able to use to start writing very quickly and I want it to be based on the findings that it has provided me. And here I have an outline for the 2500 word literature review. It's even broken it down for me with word count suggestions as well which is great and it just means that I have taken away the difficulty of trying to find papers identify why they're important, then create an outline. I have that all done for me in the, in the matter of 10 to 15 minutes. And now I can just begin writing and focus all of my energy and my expertise on getting the best bit of writing down on paper. Now, imagine this, you have an independent assistant who keeps going, who can handle complex multi-step processes, operates independently, stops very rarely only to get feedback at specific checkpoints. Now imagine you had that with you 24 hours every single day. That is Claude. The third reason why I really like Claude is for its agentic capabilities. Traditional AI, which is non-agentic, you tell it to do one specific thing, it does that specific thing, and then it waits for your next command. It's like you ask a simple question and you get a simple answer. But agentic AI, just like Claude 4, you give it a big complicated goal and it figures out how to achieve that goal. And it orchestrates different functions to be able to achieve that end goal. And that is one of the reasons why I love it. It just feels like you have someone really smart <laughs> 
working with you all the time. Let's try Claude code. So here I can go to code. I'm going to say plan a development roadmap. It needs to know the ground truth, which is essentially background information. Okay. So I'm saying that I'm creating a web platform. I have three months to create an MVP and I have one developer. Okay, so Claude has created this uh, roadmap for me to create this academic SaaS um, for three months. So month one, this is what I need to do. I need to do a bit of uh, planning, choose what stack I'm going to be using. So I can like tick them off and, and you can see here that it will start to say how much my progress and how far I've gone. Claude has gone, taken the information that I've given it, which is very, very, very minimal did its own research on how you can develop a tool like this, and then has provided me with a full roadmap that's interactive and that allows me to follow through and track um, my progress. By the end of it, I'll know what I've missed out, maybe things that I might not have done, how important and how urgent they are, and that will lead me to my end product for this project. And I can continue and discuss more on this as well. So this is super, super cool, so useful and just a really unique capability. In this video, I've been able to show you three of the key ways and the key features that I love about using Claude. But honestly, I could have done a video that was two hours long going through every single thing that's useful and valuable and to be honest, just unique about using Claude as a researcher or as an academic. And I genuinely feel like Claude has become a partner for me when it comes to research and everything that I do in my personal life, in my work life, in my academic life. And if you do want to try Claude, then I'll leave the link down below where you can go ahead and try the new model and all the capabilities that it has um, on the max plan. I'll leave the link for it uh, down below in my description. So go ahead and click it. Do let me know what you think about this video. It's a really in-depth deep dive of using one specific platform that I really think has taken over my academic use in the last couple of months. Um, if you enjoyed this, then leave me a comment down below and just let me know like what you thought was useful. Um, if you'd like to see more like this, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more from me. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.